So what's going on guys? Oddman105 aka the odd one here and welcome to this week's car customization and review video. Today we'll be customizing this bad boy right here, the new Willard Eudora, which is arguably one of the most anticipated and sought after cars from the Drug Wars DLC. Now this car has a normal price of 1.25 mil which isn't too terribly bad. It's on the high end for a classics muscle car, but this car has some of the best styling out of the box that I've ever seen, and Rockstar should bring more of these cars to the game, in my opinion. Now, we've already purchased it here, so let's back out. And let's turn around. And there it is in all of its glory. This is a gorgeous looking car. But before we begin, whether you're OGs to my channel or you're new here, thank all of you very much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And consider subscribing while you're here. It helps out the channel a great deal and it's absolutely free. Don't forget to click the bell icon for future notifications. Leave a couple of likes while you're here because they all help out the channel a ton. And hey, while you're here, check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so the Willard Eudora here is designed after the real-life Buick LeSabre. You know, back in the day when car designers knew how to make cars the right way. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. This car is absolutely gorgeous. So as a result of that, we're going to keep this build classic and classy. None of this over-the-top Benny's lowrider BS uh, with the whacked-out liveries. We're going to keep this one clean. Now, as a side note, the Willard Eudora is another limited time offer DLC car. Rockstar is up to their old tricks again. So if you guys want this vehicle, you need to buy it before March 29th. Afterwards, it'll be removed from the game, and there's no guarantee that it'll ever be brought back. So Rockstar, thanks for re-drip feeding already drip-fed content. You guys absolutely suck. And with that being said, let's get in this thing, kick the tires, light the fires, and start customization. So I'll see you guys over at the customization stall. Okay, so the Willard Eudora is in the Muscles class. Nice. Alright, let's do this. Arch covers. We're not going to do arch covers, but this is what they look like. You've got primary, secondary, and chrome, so we will ignore that. I want to see the wheels. Armor, 100%. Brakes, race brakes. Bumpers, front. And let's see. Primary stock, secondary stock. Chrome Classics, Primary Classics. Now, I think that the primary and secondary colors should be separated, so uh, we won't do Chrome because I think that's a little too much, but I do like the uh, secondary lowrider, so for the time being, let's go with that one. The rear, you've got Primary Stock, Secondary Stock, Chrome Classic, and Chrome Vintage, which looks okay. Uh, but I think it's a bit much for the build I'm going for. And ooh, we got the spare tire. So you know we got to put a spare tire on this thing. But I think I'm going to go for classic bumper with spare. Let's do that one. Nice. Engine, full upgrade. And I'm not expecting a lot out of performance uh, from this car. This is a classic muscles car, so this is a cruiser among anything else. This is not a performance car, so just keep that in mind. The exhaust. Okay, so you've got stock, chrome tipped, you've got full chrome exhaust, which is really nice actually. And you can see it, the reflection on the floor. It looks pretty cool. Okay, you've got uh, double tipped. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, you've got short. We're not going to do that either. We're not going for a, a an over-the-top muscle car build here. And we're not going to do side pipes, so let's get uh, the chrome exhaust. Let's do that. The grill. Okay, this car has a ton of customization options, and I, I appreciate the fact that Rockstar has given us this many options for this vehicle, so that we don't have to go over to Benny's. So you've got 70s Classic, which looks pretty nice. Chrome Horizontal, Primary Vertical, Secondary vertical, chrome vertical, and primary aggressive. I think we're going to do primary aggressive on this one. You've got secondary and chrome, so let's go primary aggressive on this. That'll break up some of the chrome in the front, because this car has a ton of polish on it. The hood. We've got secondary. We're going to keep the primary colors on the top of the car and the secondary colors on the bottom, so we'll leave that as a primary color. 
Okay. Primary ribbed, secondary ribbed, primary chrome. Now we're getting somewhere. We're getting close. Secondary chrome uh, ribbed hood, primary chrome trim. Okay. Uh, I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling the vents on this one. That's too modern for this kind of car, so we're not going to do that. Now, this looks nice. The primary centered trim molding, that looks really nice. I think we'll go for that one, but let's take a look at the rest. Yep. So let's get this one, the primary centered trim molding. Horn, wheel leaf standard. Lights, headlights, let's go xenon. Neon kit, layout. Yeah, we'll go all the way around on this one. And color, we'll do red. Liveries. Now, I'm not going to apply a livery, but let's take a look at them anyway. So you've got basic pinstripe. You've got thick white, which looks really nice. The liveries on this car look absolutely stunning. So you've got outlined white, outlined red. And you can do a full-on Benny's build of this if you want. Uh, but we're not going to apply a livery on this. You've got red flames, white flames, elaborately orange pinstripe, yeah. And uh, this green livery, this one is pretty fire. I like that one. But again, that's not the build that I'm going for. So you've got classic blue, classic green, and there it is, the downtown cab company livery. And I have a video on how to unlock this. If you guys haven't seen it, check the description in the link below. So let's uh, skip delivery. Lost step we have. Mirrors, primary. I kind of like the stock mirrors the way they are. So let's keep the mirrors stock. Plates, and you guys already know what it is. Black and yellow, baby. And we should be able to see it in the front. There it is. The respray, primary. Now the fun begins. Let's go to metallic. Now, I want a red primary, but as you can see, this car looks absolutely gorgeous in almost any color. Look at that silver. We just did a silver build, so let's go. I want something that's a little different here, so let's see. So let's see. Candy. Let's try candy red. What's the pearl on that, just out of curiosity? That's what I thought. It's a, it's a white pearl. So for the pearl lesson, I want to add a little more depth to that red. So let's see here. So you've got standard red. Let's go formula red on the pearl. And you can see how that it, it takes away a little bit of that candy and puts a little more depth in that red, that's what I want. So let's go with that. Secondary color. If I can get to it, here we go. All right. Okay, let's go cream on the secondary. We can do ice white, but I think that's a little too bright. So let's go cream on the secondary. And I want that uh, pearlescent peering through the white, so that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for here. The trim color. Now we can leave the trim black, but I'm thinking... Let's see here. Let's see what it looks like if we match up. That's not bad, actually. If we match it up with the primary. That's not bad. So if we go candy on the interior, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And you've got the white on the uh, the, the inset uh, cushion for the seat, which gives it that nice contrast. I think we're going to go for that, but just out of curiosity, how does cream look? Yeah, that's too much. That's too much. So let's go back with the uh, with the candy for the interior. Yeah, just what I thought. Wine red's too dark, so. Candy red interior it is. Crew emblem goes on the hood, as you can see, but we're not going to do that. The roof. We can go secondary on a roof, but I would like to keep the roof all one color, so with the primary, so we'll leave that alone. 
Roof accessories. We won't add an accessory, but let's take a look at them anyway. So you've got stock roof, a uh, small roof rack, large roof rack, a uh, chrome roof, a uh, luggage rack, large luggage rack. We're not going to do any of this, but just to take a look at them. And you've got the surfboard option, which is actually befitting of a car of this era, so that's not bad. But we won't do it. <laughs> Sunshades. Let's go classic primary. Although the classic secondary, I think, gives it a nice contrast. That is a tough choice. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go classic primary on that. Let's keep it all one color because you can see that chrome strip uh, between the sunshade and the actual window glass. That's what I want for the se the separation. Suspension. Now this is kind of ridiculous. You can slam the crap out of this car. If you're going for a low rider build, check that out. <laughs> that's in there. That is absolutely nuts, but that's not what we're going for. So uh, let's go Let's go street suspension on this one. It's already kind of low, but let's go... Yeah, let's do street on this. I think that's fine. Transmission, full upgrade. Trim. So... You can add chrome trim, which I'm not going to do. I think the car has plenty of chrome on it as it is. We can go primary to add more uh, red, but I think that defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do here. So, And of course you've got uh, chrome trim plate, which we're not going to do. That's that's over the top. If this were an all black build, then sure I would go for that, but we're not going to do that. So, uh, We'll leave the trim off the car. Turbo, full upgrade. Wheels, wheel type. You know we got to go low rider and stock. And I'm looking at, there's nothing wrong with the stock wheels. I like the white walls on here, but um, let's change them up a bit. Now the wired are okay, but I want something a little different. So I'm thinking big worm. Let's put those on. And rather than paint them black, take a look at the reds. Uh, the pink is too bright. Yeah, let's do red on that. Let's do red on it. Let's do it. That looks fine. Tires. Tire design. Yes, please. And you can see that uh, separation, that contrast between the red rims and that white uh, wall on the tire. Very nice. Tire enhancements, excuse me, bulletproof. Smoke, and let's see. Uh, we'll leave it white tire smoke. I think that's fine. The windows, you know we got to darken them out. Look at that thing. Look at that. That's nice. I like it. Let's do it. So guys, after much deliberation, I think we're going to go with the flares. And let's, just out of curiosity, let's see what they look like. In black. That's pretty fire. That's pretty fire. There's nothing wrong with them in black. And frost white would work as well. But you know what? I think we'll keep them red. I think we'll keep them red because red looks pretty fine on there. So we're done. Now when the sun comes up we'll test drive this thing but for now let's park it. Yes, now we're ready. Okay guys and we're back and check it out. Beautiful. I think it turned out excellent. Now that choice of the formula red pearl with this candy red and that cream secondary an excellent choice. I wanted a resto mod look without going over the top, and I think we nailed it. I'm pleased with what we have here, especially with the rim choice. Okay, let's go. Now, just to reiterate, this is not a performance car, so acceleration is going to be slow. Once it picks up speed, it's kind of fast, but this is one of those low and slow cruisers. And speaking of cruising, as you guys can see, we're on good old Route 68 out here in Sandy Shores. 
or the Grand Sonora Desert, one of my favorite places in the game. This car is all the business. I love the way it looks. Look at that. Let's go first person. Even the interior looks nice. Now, sure, we could have gone with a darker color interior, but I like the red uh, interior that matches the red primary, so I think that was an excellent choice for this car. You know, it kind of wafts along. This is a big, heavy, weighty car for a muscle car. So it feels like a muscle car, and I am absolutely happy with what we have here. I think that it's worth it for you classic car collectors out there. This one is absolutely staying in my collection. Okay, let's take a really quick look at the interior. Nice. So a pretty decent job on the engine model, rendering that is. It's not over the top, although this is a new DLC car, but I think they could have done a little better with that. It's not bad though. But of course you've got the interior, standard interior for this type of car. It looks nice. I'm glad that I went with the red to match the red primary. And you've got this massive freaking trunk. Not bad. Pretty good rendering job on the trunk, too. Overall, I'm pleased with this car. This is a nice classics to add to my collection. Okay, guys, and we're back. And what more can I say about this car that hasn't already been said? It even looks good here at the LS Car Meet. Look at this thing. This is a big, hefty, weighty car, and I love it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. That choice of the candy red with the Formula Red Pearl, the red rims, and the cream secondary, I think, is a, the perfect choice for this car. I genuinely love the way this car looks. Now, the interior, uh, we probably could have gone with a different color for the interior, but you know what? I like it. I'm satisfied with it. And the performance, this is a cruiser. This is not a performance car. So, guys, you got to keep that in mind. This is a nice classics vehicle that you keep for your collection, that you take to the car meets and show off amongst your friends. This is not something that you literally take to races because you're not going to win, so it's not that kind of a car. Now, the question is whether or not you should pay 1.25 mil for something like this. I would say that you should avoid buying into the FOMA phenomenon, the fear of missing out. I bought this one twice so that I can have one for the taxi livery and one to customize. So I'm satisfied with what I have here. If that's what you guys want to do, then I recommend getting it before this car is taken out of the game. And again, there's no guarantee that it'll ever come back. So with that being said, guys, this car stays in my collection. It's not going anywhere. And this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, a.k.a. The Odd One, coming to you live from the LS Car Meet with this week's car customization and review of the Willard Eudora, an excellent classics car. So if you guys found this video informative or entertaining, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button. Hit that bell icon. Leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.